hi my friends welcome back so if you are beginner this is the only video you need to begin your journey in motherboard repairing so i'm going to teach you in this video all component that you can find in motherboard from a to z with explanation of course so if you are beginner student technician you are very welcome this video is for you so let's get started so let's begin from this side guys this is mosfet its reference in the motherboard is pq also this one is mosfet for mosfet you're gonna find 8p mosfets sometimes it could be 3p mosfets so here guys always for beginners of course always locate this dot here or this white mark so this white mark means this is the pin number one two three so three pins for sirs the fourth pin is for the gate and three other pins are for drain so if you focus here we have the same area here four pins connected together for these three pins you see we have same area here three pins connected together and this one basically is controlled by this ice those also guys are mosfets we called it flat mosfets also with eight terminals also this white mark and this dot means this is the pin number one two three the same three for source we have gate and we have four for drain this one also here guys this is coil or inductor so here in the coil basically we have two terminals and to test this coil you can just use the multimeter and check between these two terminals you have to get zero ohm or a continuity when you select the continuity option so the reference for the inductor is pl as you can see this one guys this is 10 telem capacitor so this is a polarized capacitor its reference is pc so here we have the positive terminal and here we have the negative terminal this one here is a ceramic capacitor as you can see we have also c this capacitor basically is not polarized capacitor okay it's not a polarized capacitor if you want for example to connect it to the motherboard you can connect it using both sides no problem here guys this is not capacitor not diode this is crystal do you see we have here y so y or x is for crystal here we have ic and the same working principle we have this dot and this white mark here means this is the pin number one two three four and the reading is counterclockwise so this is ic with its reference above it if you want for example to replace it you have to replace it with another ic with the same part number or reference so we, its reference in the motherboard is u for ICs. so here also we have ic here we have ceramic capacitors and guys this one this is a diode not capacitor here we have d as you can see d means diode and for diode the same working principle it has cathode and anode okay of course to test it using the multimeter you can just select the continuity option and test the diode you have to get a reading in one side and in the other side no reading if you get a continuity in the multimeter means the diode is bad so guys let's test this component that we have say, seen right now and then continue discovering other components so guys i select the continuity option here so let's begin with the inductor so one probe here in the side and the other probe here do you see guys in the multimeter we have zero means the inductor is good so what about mosfet let's check this mosfet guys so for the mosfet between drain and source we have to get a reading in the multimeter do you see we have four handles in the multimeter as you can see if i swap the props let's see we have one in the multimeter means this is good mosfet let's check this one also guys 
we have 500 as you can see so this is good MOSFET so for the tantalum capacitor guys we can just put one probe in this size over here and the other here we get about nine is this a short no this is not a short why what is the proof because this tantalum capacitor belong to the cpu circuit okay it belong to the cpu circuit means this is normal a real short circuit is this one like this okay but once we get about nine means this is just the resistance of the cpu so guys let's check ceramic capacitors like this one for example over here one probe here and the other probe here so once we didn't we didn't get a continuity means the capacitor is good we get a reading if you get a continuity means the capacitor is shorted let's check this one here also this big one here do you see if we swap the probes so one well, this is good guys please pay attention those component here this is not capacitor this is basically inductor do you see guys this one this is inductor not capacitor why we have here pl pl if we check it we have to get a continuity as you can see in the multimeter we get a continuity okay but for ceramic capacitor like this one we get as you can see a ready means good so please try to distinguish and to, to differentiate between this kind of cell capacitor and this kind of inductor so this compound guys here this is pr okay so this is resistor we called it exactly the current sense resistor so the current sense resistor has basically guys a very low resistance it has a very low resistance about one ohm so if we check it using the continuity option do you see we have zero but if we move the multimeter to ohm option let's select 200 ohms for example and check this current sense resistor again we will find about one ohm 2.2 we have 1.9 1.7 okay this is about 1 ohm to 2 ohm okay guys so this one we called it a current sense resistor so for guys that ask me about the ic how can we check the ic basically the ic if you want to check it you have to check the inputs and outputs there is no a one testing like for capacitor, inductor, or MOSFET. No, for the IC, you have to check inputs and outputs. Okay, so here, if you focus here, guys, we have the IC. Around it, we have many components, especially ceramic capacitors. Okay, so for the IC, we have inputs like V in, enable, clock etc and output like 3 volt 5 volt 1.8 volt etc so in order to get outputs the input should be present all of them but we have a very fast method that we can use to check if the ic is shorted or not is by checking the ceramic capacitors around it if you find that the ceramic capacitors around the ic are all of them are shorted or about 90 percent are shorted means 90 percent the shorter component is the ice for example for this one for this ic for example if we check this capacitor around it as you can see this one is good good no short no short this one also no short so this is good but if you find that the serum capacitors are shorted means you have probably one serum capacitor is shorted or the ic about 90 percent is the shorted component why because the capacitors are connected to the ground in one side and connected to the ic in the other side and 
the IC also is connected to the ground in the other side. So we have seen MOSFETs, okay, all kinds of MOSFETs, a terminal MOSFET, the tantalum capacitor, we have coin, we have IC, we have ceramic capacitors, we have basically resistors, we have coils, ACMD coin, we have crystal, we call this crystal IC. Of course, you can find other kind of uh, resistors. This is basically network resistors, as you can see. Four combined resistors, as you can see, we use the same working principle to test it. We have here shunt resistor, capacitor. This is a six terminal MOSFET. This one basically will have a fuse. We have F. This is the mic transistor, three terminal transistor. So over here we have network resistors. So over here, guys, we have another kind of ECMD diode. We have here D. So another kind of crystal. IC fuse diode amplifier pay attention guys those components are controllers we can find it sometimes IC but sometimes you can find also coil or inductor in this shape here we have tantalum capacitors here we have resistors as you can see ceramic capacitors those are MOSFETs we have crystal etc <coughs> Over here, basically, we have the BIOS, we have the SIO, the Super IO here, guys. So, I hope that you understand a little bit about the electrical component used in the motherboard. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And if you want more exclusive content, you can join me in my Patreon page and also you will find in the description the link for my website for more articles about troubleshooting, hardware issues, no power motherboard, shorter motherboard, no data, laptop not charging, etc. So guys, thank you very much and see you in the next video.